What's up guys, Quinn here. It's been a while, but football season is finally over and we're finally ready to do some awesome updates to my classroom fish room. Starting off with fixing a 90 gallon aquarium that has just been collecting dust in my classroom for over a year now. I don't have any experience trying to reseal an aquarium, but I figured I'll give it a shot because if I succeed, then I have a brand new 90 gallon aquarium that I can set up. So I'm gonna give it my best shot. We'll see how it goes. Let's dive right in. So here is the classroom fish room. Got the 110 gallon, 75 gallon. Got the Mbuna 75 gallon. And you got the 90 gallon with the yellow jacket. This guy is always hungry. Then moving on, we have Felix in the 55 gallon over here, the flower horn. And then we got just a 29 long that has some community fish. So here we have the original 90 gallon tank that we set up our Mbuna tank in last summer. Unfortunately, it did have a leak in the seal in this corner. So we had to think fast, go run and uh, buy a new 75 gallon and transfer everything over. That was not a fun process but I've still had this empty aquarium in my classroom stored underneath uh, one of my tables for the whole year. And I've always thought about maybe trying to reseal it with some silicone. Hopefully I can get a 90 gallon aquarium up and running. And I would think I would put it kind of over here in my classroom there. But first we got to get to scraping out the old silicone before we can get the new silicone in. Here we go. So you can see the black right here, this is the old silicone. I've actually already got a little bit of it out right here, just to make sure I can actually do it. I have to take all of the edges out, and I'm also going to re-silicone the corners as well. So this is a long and tedious process. Hopefully I can get this done in one night, and then hopefully get to siliconing in the near future. So the first thing I did was I went in with a big scraper with a large razor blade at the end. After some practice, I was able to get the large chunks of silicone out. However, there was still a lot of residue and adhesive remaining on the glass panels. I then had to go through with a fresh razor blade, meticulously getting everything off the glass. This was a long and tedious process. I will say that I was a little nervous working with razor blades on the glass, worrying that I would scratch it up. However, it actually went very well and I feel like I have a better understanding on how to work on glass now. I used a shop vac to get all the old loose silicone out of the tank. This was a major help as it would have taken forever to get every last piece out of there. This is also an important step because you don't want any of the old silicone in the tank as the new silicone is binding to the glass. So after a couple hours of really hard work, I've managed to scrape the majority of the silicone out of the tank. And then I was able to vacuum up all the leftover little particles. So it's been a couple hours, as you can see, it's getting close to 9 p.m. here. Uh, I'm not normally here this late at school. Um, the next step is I'm going to add some acetone. All right, I'm gonna be a little careful with this. I don't wanna use too much because I don't want to damage any of the silicone that's holding the glass panels together. But what the acetone is going to do is it's going to remove any of the remaining adhesive that came with the silicone. So I'm gonna get a real nice clean finish on the glass panels So the new silicone will be glass to glass, it'll be perfect. Hopefully this works out well. Might as well try, right? The acetone does have a very strong smell and you don't want to get it on anything other than the surface you're working on. I use some rubber gloves in my science classroom for this step. Then went one more time with a fresh razor blade to get any last adhesive remaining. The next day. So it's day two now. 
I just got done lining up the masking tape to where the silicone will go. This will give me nice clean lines and make this tank looking just like it's brand new again. We hope. Next up, it's time to get to siliconing. All right, guys, the silicone is in. Sorry I couldn't film it. I was a little rushed and obviously I'm the only one in here. Just had to get it done before the silicone all dried. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty damn good, lads! Yeah! You can see my seal on the corners look pretty clean. And then I purposely left the base much thicker. I actually learned that from our custom aquariums tour. They recommend that the silicone seal at the bottom is as thick as possible, especially if you have sand covering it up because it does not matter really how it looks. And that's where most of the pressure from the water will be. That's the best tip for avoiding any broken seals at the bottom there. I did put a little fan up here to help dry over the weekend. Uh, it'll dry on itself, but you know, just giving it a little bit of additional airflow. Stay tuned. We will start to fill this thing up with water and see if it works. Been a full 24 hours since I siliconed the tank. I did the field test and everything looks real dry. Looks like a good seam. I do have some leftover silicone that was spilled on the glass and so I just have to scrape off, it's no big deal. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna do the first water test. I'm only gonna fill it up probably a few inches just to see if the bottom seal is working. Remember, it was the back left corner that was originally leaking on the original seal. So we're gonna use the Python here. We're gonna fill her up and hope for the best. So we filled it up probably about three inches here. And so far, so good. No leak. Remember, this is the corner that was leaking. So far, so good. All dry. All right, so now we're gonna fill it up a little bit more and we'll see how it goes then. So the perks of having two pythons set up in your classroom means filling up the tank is twice as fast. We'll see what happens when we get towards the top. Hopefully the seals will hold with all the pressure being from the full tank. So far, so good. Feeling pretty optimistic, but you never know. The tank has been filled up all the way to the top. It's been about 10 minutes now and no leaks, baby. I did it, at least for now. I was not very confident going into this, so I am pretty pumped that essentially I just got a brand new 90 gallon aquarium. As you can see, the yellow jacket is very, very happy. All right, so it's now been a couple weeks and the tank has been totally full and absolutely no leaks. This is the corner where the original leak was. But as we can see, the new silicone is holding up. And it looks like all is well. This yellow lab was getting picked on in the 75 gallon in Buna tank. So I figured I would quarantine it. It did look a little sick. And also that kind of helps jumpstart the cycle. So this tank is ready for fish. I'm very excited to set up this aquarium in my classroom. I do have some ideas floating around my head, but I want to hear from you. How would you stock this 90 gallon aquarium? Leave those in the comments section. Stay tuned for more exciting updates in the classroom. Stay well, and we'll catch you next time.